Hello friends, I'm Elaine Masters and I welcome you to 2022. Cleaning my garage is not what I plan to do today. <laughs> I was supposed to be on a flight to Thailand and so far 2022 is turning into a kicker and I'm only on day two, so get ready for a ride, I think. Um, the world is opening up a little bit as we learn more about our viral status and um, clear what we know we need to do in order to stay safe and take care of our loved ones and ourselves. And I have to tell you, my journey not getting to Thailand has been quite an adventure. Um, we started with applying for the Thai Pass, which was set up uh, in November. And it was quite a gauntlet of papers and reservations, and you had to buy uh, Thai insurance. Um, you ha I also had insurance for my flights. I did not have insurance that covered the only hotel I booked, and gladly it was the only one I booked. Um, and I learned a valuable lesson, or at least I was reminded of that, to always go direct through the hotel and not through a booking site. The booking site will remain um, unnamed, but it begins with an A. You be careful when they tell you that something is uh, can't cancel it or change it or get a refund they mean it so that was sad however those are not the reasons that um, we're not going we got our PCR test paid a bundle to get it in time so the day before we were to leave for our flight some articles popped up from other travelers who were going to Thailand or in Thailand or had just returned from Thailand and um, they were quite telling when we booked we as I said, made sure we had the right kind of hotel. And um, the impression was that if you needed to quarantine longer than the required one day for those of us who are vaccinated and get cleared through an additional test once you get there, um, that you would be able, if you needed to, to quarantine further in that hotel. So I picked a nice hotel. But um, I found out that, in fact, if either my partner or I, through no fault of our own, but just because of the state of affairs, are test positive that we would instead be sent to a hospital, a Thai hospital, which is fine, but uh, there are community hospitals, there are official Thai hospitals, there are private hospitals. Each one has a different level of care and comfort. Now, one article that I saw was very telling about a family from Norway who got to Thailand. They had all been vaccinated except for their youngest, who was a five-year-old. He tested positive when they got to Thailand. Unfortunately for the family, they were all put into quarantine. Nobody else tested positive, not at all even during the quarantine. And the quarantine was not at the hotel that they had booked, or any hotel. It was in a hospital at a great cost to them. And like $250 a day, <laughs> and for the entire family. And that was an eventuality that neither my partner nor I would like to face. It's one thing to be quarantined someplace that you're fairly comfortable. You can choose food from a menu to be delivered to you. Um, I'm sure that if I was to catch the latest variant of the virus, that I would sail through pretty quickly and easily because I'm fully boosted and vaccinated. But we're all learning from this. And I hope that Thailand learns too. They are pushing travelers who want to go and to support the local economy and for myself to take my partner to Thailand after the wonderful trip I had in the 90s and to go do some diving. All these things have been shelved for a while and in fact we're looking at other international destinations to go to as fast as we can because we have set aside this period of time to go to Thailand to take a vacation, to get into some tropical water. You can see some of my dive equipments in the back. Um, so it's a big reconfiguration. Now, all of us are knowing that that's kind of way of life right now. And uh, I hope that things go better and easier for all of us as we move through this new world situation. There will be other challenges ahead, of course. Um, that's life. And we hopefully learn from those. But I wanted to let you know our cautionary tale and uh, to get your support from me cleaning up this garage. <laughs> it's really a mess. Um, putting away Christmas decorations, getting the dive gear sorted out after our debacle. Anyway, I hope that your 2022 is off to a great start and um, 
that you and your loved ones are safe and well. And maybe I'll see you out there on the road. I'm Elaine Masters. Thanks for watching. And uh, leave a comment. Subscribe, like. It's great to have you with me. Bye.